This segment brought to you by Heinen Brothers Ag. Farmers helping farmers by offering quality aerial and ground application, fertilizer, ag chemicals, and anhydrous ammonia. Call today to protect your crop yield. Welcome back. Let's catch up with Kyle and Evan as they discuss the variety of research projects and grants that impact ASI. I have the opportunity to visit with Evan Titkenmeyer today. He is a professor at Kansas State University in the Animal Science Department, he is the coordinator of research at, in the Animal Science Department. Evan, tell me what that means. Well, we have a large amount of our activities in the department relates to research. Uh, in addition to the extension and teaching activities that we also have. And so associated with that, um, I kind of make sure that people are aware of grant opportunities that are there, uh, look a little bit about uh, trying to figure out how we can maybe find more research dollars to help support our programs. And uh, I also work a lot with the graduate students as I serve as a graduate program director as well. So the monies that flow to the university for research is an important part of funding the university. Oh, yes, exactly. Um, I can't give you the exact percentages, but uh, probably half of the operating budget of the university would be related to uh, research uh, funding that comes into the university now. In our department, we're probably a little bit less there because we're so invested in the, the teaching program. And of course, you think about universities as educating young people. How does research um, come together with teaching young people? Well, we have a, a lot of interfaces between research and teaching. One, as we have faculty that are doing research, they're going to be a lot more up with the most current events and what's going on in animal agriculture. And so that's going to help them to teach the students if they actually know about those things. Uh, we also have a lot of training that takes place with our graduate students. Um, all of the research, or at least most of the research in our department, is actually conducted by individual graduate students. And so uh, those students are supported by stipends that are paid for through those research grants. So as it, it appears to me that as state funding and some federal funding has reduced, there is more of an emphasis with universities to do research. Well, that's right. And some of our research funding would come from the federal government. Some of it would come from the state. But in our particular case, a lot of research is very applied, meaning it has direct application to making cattle grow more efficiently or producing more milk or you know, more uh, piglets raised for each litter uh, by the pigs. And so a lot of that type of research is going to be funded by the livestock industry and the uh, associated uh, portions of that. Evan, can you give me some idea how many people are in research in the animal science department at what? Kansas State? Well, we have about 45 or 50 faculty members in our department, and to some extent all of them would have some involvement with research. For some it may be a very small part of their job and for others a, a much greater part. But really all of those 45 or so faculty would be involved in uh, supporting the research program. We're visiting with Evan Tetkenmeyer. He is a professor at Kansas State University in the Animal Science Department. Stay with us as Kyle visits with Dr. Joel DeRoshi, an extension swine specialist at K-State. That's coming up next here on Farm Factor. I'm a patient of Kansas Regenerative Medicine in Manhattan. I had uh, stem cell therapy in my hips and my left knee. My wife and I uh, both are patients. We went down there the same day in November. Since then, uh, my hips are feeling a lot better. I can, can work now most of the day if I want to. And uh, before, if I, if I worked in the morning, I was done in the afternoon. Or if I worked in the afternoon, um, I was sure enough done for the rest of the day. 